Hey. Good morning, St. James. Good morning. Come on, we can do better than that. Good morning, St. James. Good morning. The male choir just stopped by this morning to tell you that it won't it be grand when we when we go on up yonder, amen? Yeah. There'll be no more crying. There'll be no more struggling. I'm going home to live with my Jesus. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Oh, say, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah, said, I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah, won't it be grand? Church, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah, said, I'm going home to live with Jesus. Won't it be grand? Well, when I get through hey, yeah. praying down here, said out in the sunshine and out in the rain, said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Church, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah, said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Won't it be where well, the Jordan River Yo. is deep and wide, oh, yeah. see, I got a home uh -huh. on the other side. Said I'm going home oh, to live with Jesus. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah. Said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah. Won't Listen. it be you can talk about me hey, as much as you please. Okay. The more you talk, I'm going to bend my knee. Said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Church, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah. Said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Won't it be well, one of these mornings, it won't be long. Hey! You look for me, hey! and I'll be gone. Said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Church, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Well, won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Yeah, said I'm going home to live with Jesus. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Well, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, as long as I know I got a seat in the kingdom, that's all right. Church, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, as long as I know I got a seat in the kingdom. That's all right. Oh, if my grandmother hey. was here today, yeah. say these are the words you will hear her say. As long as I know I got a seat in the kingdom, that's all right. Well, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Church, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Hey, as long as I know I got a seat in the kingdom. Yeah. Oh, let's do that again. Right. Hey, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Hey, as long as I know I got a seat in the kingdom. Hey, that's listen. Right. Oh, come and go to that land. Hey. Say, come and go to that land. Say, come and go to that land. Where I Oh, where I'm from. Oh, come and go to that land. Hey, come and go to that land. Hey, come and go to that land. Where I'm from. Oh, there is peace in that land. There is peace in that land. Hey, there is peace in that land. Oh, say, well. Where I'm bound, where I'm coming, oh, there is peace in that land. Oh, there is peace in that land. Come on, I say there is peace 
in that land where I'm bound. Yeah, listen. Mm -hmm. See, there's a lily. Yeah. It's in the valley. In Don't the valley. you know it's bright as the morning star? Oh, oh there is lily. Yeah. Come on, hey, say there is joy, there is joy, it's in the valley, in the no, valley. the door is bright as the morning star, oh, there is joy in the valley, don't you know, bright as the morning star, oh, there is joy, it's in the valley, don't you know, bright as the morning star, yes, it is. Hey, hey. There is love in that valley. Come on. Hey, say there is love. There is love. It's in the valley. Don't you know it's bright as the morning star? Oh, there is love. It's in the valley. Don't you know it's bright as the morning star? Oh, there is love. It's in the valley. Don't you know it's bright as the morning star? Give him praise yeah. in the Come on, there's yeah. a lily in the valley. Give him yeah. praise. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. You know, I woke up this morning with Jesus on my mind. And I just realized that um. We got a lot of problems in our own country. A lot of politics, a lot of homeless, where we can't even pay our bills these days. Yeah. Where we can't even pay our car note these days. We got more drugs in this country than we ever seen. Yeah. So, I'ma tell you one thing, what I'ma do about that? Everything, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Mm, and everything I do. Keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Ah, every move I make, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, every move I make, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, every move I make, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on Everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. Said I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. Leaning, leaning on Jesus. Said I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. Every day, leaning on Jesus. In every way, leaning on Jesus. I gotta keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. Gotta keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. Leaning on my Jesus, leaning on Jesus. Gotta keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus. Listen, Satan, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Everything I do. I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything I do, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. I said I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. I said I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. What about you? Leaning on Jesus. What about you? Leaning on Jesus. Gotta keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus. When you're down and out. 
You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. When you need Jesus, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. Trying to get discouraged, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. From the time yeah. you're burdened down, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. I say now, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, everywhere I go. Keep on leaning on the Lord. Lord, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Oh, I'm leaning, leaning on Jesus. Instead of leaning, leaning on Jesus. Instead of leaning, leaning on Jesus. Instead of leaning, leaning on Jesus. When my heart is hurting, leaning on Jesus. I got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus. When I'm burning down, leaning on Jesus. Got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. When things just don't go right, leaning on Jesus. I got to lean on Jesus, leaning on Jesus. When my friend abandoned me, leaning on Jesus. Got to lean on Jesus, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. You got to keep on leaning, leaning on Jesus. I say, what about you? You got to lean on Jesus. Leaning on Jesus, got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus, got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus, oh, my Jesus. Leaning on Jesus, got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus, you got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus, Jesus. Leaning on Jesus, you got to keep on leaning. Leaning on Jesus, got to keep on leaning. I say, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Lord, everywhere I go, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Keep on leaning on the Lord. Keep on leaning, keep on leaning, keep on leaning on the Lord. Good morning, St. James. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you right now, Father God. Father God, thank you for another opportunity to be here, Father God. Father God, we thank you for another day and helping us get through this week, Father God. Father God, we thank you for the safety and the protection of our family and friends, Father God. Father God, we thank you for getting our pastor safely to Africa, Father God. And we pray that you get him safely back, Father God. Father God, we just want to come to you right now, Father God, and ask that you give us let us decrease, Father God, so that you may increase, Father God. Father God, we ask that you teach us to lean on you, Father God, to move out of our own ways, Father God, and let your will be done, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you for everything. And if we had a thousand tongues, Father God, we couldn't thank you enough. Father God, I just, I just ask that you move here, Father God, that you, you let your spirit dwell, Father God, that you give the speaker today the courage to come and bring your word, Father God. That you give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to take what's meant for us, Father God. Father God, we just ask that you build us up, Father God. That you continue to give us strength to go through the weeks and the days of hardship, Father God, on this earth, Father God. Father God, just thank you, Father God. Thank you so much for delivering us from who we were, Father God. Continue to bring us forward, Father God. Continue to remove our, our flesh, Father God, and let your spirit dwell within us, Father God. Father God, all these things we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. that you stand as we as we enter into the hymnal portion of the service. 
hymn 196, there's a sweet, sweet spirit. Please prepare to do all three verses, amen. up on me so bear with me bear with me I had a strong prayer with God this morning I, I asked him did he know what he was doing but I know God is in control therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren to go to you ahead of time 
prepare for your generous gift beforehand, which you had previously promised, that it may be ready as a matter of generosity, not as grudging obligation. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves the cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. While you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. For the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. While, through the proof of this ministry, they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and for your liberal sharing with them in all men. And by their prayer for you, who long for you, because of the exceeding grace of God in you, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Now I, Paul, myself am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am sent and bold toward you. All things come with thee, O Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord. We have Sister Corbett coming up for announcements. Good morning. <laughs> All right, no Bible study this week. Okay, I'm going to make sure. All right, Youth Emerge Wednesday at 5.30. Contact the church office if you need a pickup. Volunteers are still needed for the Youth Emerge. So please contact the church office if you are interested. New members class, first and third Sunday in the finance room at 9 a.m. And this is for new members within the last two years. If your birthday is in April, please see me next Sunday. I know you're supposed to see me this Sunday, but Sister Corbett been running all week, and I didn't get a chance to pick up the um, gift, so I apologize. So please see me next Sunday. The Daughters of St. James, we will have a meeting right at the service downstairs in the fellowship hall. So the Daughters of St. James, please come downstairs immediately after service for a meeting. Also, down outside in the handicap drop-off there is no parking so please 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 do not park in the handicap drop-off that's for our, our members who are unable to walk a far distance and we need both spaces in order to um, drop members off st james amy barto lay day service will be april 21st 2024 at 10 a.m guest speaker will be the elder jimmy j thompson C.J. Baker, along with St. James AME Church, presents the Friday Night of Freedom, April 26th at 7 p.m., featuring Cam Sutherland and Tremaine Toombs. The event will be here at St. James AME. The Lakeland District Revival Hold the Line Convocation will be Monday, April 22nd through Wednesday, April 24th, 2024 at 7 p.m. St. James is the host church. Monday will be the Reverend Octavius Smith from St. Paul AME Church, Ocala. Tuesday, Reverend Larry Roundtree of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church of Tampa. And Wednesday, the Reverend Ricky Wiggs of Redeemed Ministries from Lakeland. The Polk County Interdenominational Ministerial 
Association Incorporation's 60th Annual Polk Countywide Simultaneous Revival will be on April 23rd through the 25th. The theme is Now is the Time to Review, Renew, and Revive. Day sessions will be held at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. The Pastor Fred Leonard is the host pastor, and it will be in Arbondale. The address is 414 Preston Street, Arbondale, Florida. Breakfast, 9 a.m., and day sessions, day sessions will be begin at 10 a.m. Pastor will be the guest speaker at St. Mark AME Church Davenport with the Pastor Gwendolyn B. Walker preside. It will be on Sunday, April 28, 2024 at 4 p.m. St. Mark AME will be celebrating their 93rd church anniversary, so please let's go and support our pastor and this church celebration. Also, all high school seniors, Bartow Deacons and Stewart Alliance Scholarship application. It, will, it is due on April 19th, which is this week. It must be postmarked no later than April 19th. And I have the application packet for um, anyone that has a high school senior or know of one that can use this, um, the scholarship award. If you have any questions, you can see um, Brother Carver Young or Sister Talanda Sanders. Um, if you have any additional questions besides what's, besides what's on the scholarship um, award packet. Good morning, good morning. This is for the sons of Allen. There will be a meeting right after church. I only need about five or ten minutes of your time. This is a do meeting. Please stay and attend this meeting. Thank you. All right, I have more stuff. I'm sorry. The kindness of others is a genuine reflection of the kindness of God. You helped to make our 52nd wedding anniversary an unforgettable occasion. We have had many years to celebrate our togetherness, but you have made this one really special. So to the church, with the biggest heart, we say thank you, Brother Fred and Sister Edna McNair. The Lord bless you because you have shown this kindness. Light to Honor Welcome Home Celebration, Tuesday, April 30th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Gates open at 5.30. The flight should arrive around 7 p.m. Where the Lakeland, the Lakeland Lender International Airport, 3, 3900 Don Emerson Drive, Lakeland, Florida. The mission, nine veterans are returning home from a trip of a lifetime visiting from memorials in D.C., Let's give, the, give, give, let's give the heroes a welcome they deserve. Come early to enjoy balloons, balloon animals, face paintings, food trucks, military planes and vehicles, the Lakeland Symphony Orchestra and the Honor Guard presentation. This is a free family friendly event, so please feel free to bring the whole family and a chair to sit in. Your opportunity to find your new career, April 16, 2024, at the Bartow Civic Center, presented by the Thunder Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Attention job seekers looking for a job, searching for a rewarding career. And it is Tuesday, April 16, 2024, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Veterans early entry at 9 a.m. Polk County Schools early entry 9.45 to 10.45, all others 11 to 2. Do we have any new visitors with us this today? All right, thank you so much. Our brother Darren is coming up. Good morning, good morning. I was coming to give an update. You know, our pastor is in Africa, and he sent me a text message, and he wants uh, us to know that he's very proud of St. James. So as he is there, there are other churches that were there uh, who are on the same mission that we were on uh, with our sponsor um, our event. And he wanted you guys to know that we are the leading church in the state of Florida of those that are sponsored. So we have 58 sponsors. So we give glory to God for that and for those who are uh, sponsors and for allowing the Lord to use you to do that. In his same text message, he says, Darren, we got 58. 
we need to get two more to get 60. So he wanted me to come up and appeal today for two more um, uh, sponsors so we can get 60 students. So we do have these still. Today would be the last day. So we still, still have an opportunity to sponsor two children. Uh, we have cards. If you have not, if you want to do another one, we do have that here. We also wanted you to know that next week when he comes back, he's bringing uh, our envelope so that if you did sponsor a child, you have the opportunity to see who you sponsored. So the pictures, the avail, the, uh, the students get to pick today. And, and we come back and we get to see the names uh, or the faces of those who picked us. And so we're doing that. So again, he is very proud of the church. He could be more proud. You know, our pastor in the competition, you know, that he does. But it's a worthy competition, worthy cause. And again, uh, we have these here. Uh, please, if you feel it on your heart to sponsor one of those children, uh, we are looking for two more. We have 58. We're looking at 58. Uh, we need two more. So we thank you for that. Uh, be in attendance next week because next week is our uh, reveal here at St. James. So if you sponsor, you want to be here so you can get your envelope and see the student, the child that you sponsor. Thank you. I have a few announcements myself. Uh, as you know, we have the Thrive Ministry, the Thrive Ministry for the young adults from 18 to 50. And uh, even if you're on the borderline, come on out and hang with us. Um, we'll be at Boney Max on Martin Luther King on the 27th from 2 to 5 on um, live music. And we're going to have Brother Darren on the ones and twos, as Pastor said. And, uh, we, you know, we're just going to have a good time interacting. Uh, we have that QR code up there. If you can take a picture of that on your camera, it'll you can register it immediately. Um, you don't have to register, but we prefer it. And if you have any family members, tell them it's not church. We're just trying to have a good time. If they don't like to come to church, we're trying to ring them in. But, you know, so uh, we love to have anybody that's willing to come out, no matter where you're from. Um, and I've been, I have another opportunity uh Someone called me last week and uh, they asked me to speak at an engagement that uh, in Lakeland on Kathleen Road. It's for men, but everyone's invited. Um, I'm very humbled by it that someone felt that they should call upon me. Um, I'm not preaching, but I, I will be speaking. It's about your testimony and where you, where, where you come from. And uh, they felt like I had an interesting story, so they wanted me to talk to others about it. And uh, I, I a promise I made to God is that anytime I got the opportunity to tell my testimony, I will do it. So I, I took the engagement on. And, <laughs> um, and I want to say thank you, St. James, because, you know, uh, this has been an awesome journey. And I can tell God's working in my life. And it's all because of the support that you guys give me. So I thank God for you. And I... Thank God for Pastor. He just sent me a text message to say, don't forget the welcome song. So we were, <laughs> and uh, if you didn't know, Pastor's watching. So y'all say hey to Pastor. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we want to stand up and get our, give fist bumps out and sing our welcome song. Welcome to St. James. We're so glad you came. Welcome to St. James, we come to give God praise. Welcome to St. James, we come to lift our hands. Oh, welcome to St. James, we can be free in Jesus' name. Welcome to St. James, we're so glad you came. Welcome to St. James, we come to give God praise. Welcome to St. James. We come to live by him. Oh, 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 welcome to St. James. We can be free in Jesus' name. Welcome. 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 Be free in Jesus' name. Welcome. 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 Be free. Be free in Jesus' name. Welcome. Welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 welcome,
welcome, be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, welcome, oh, welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be welcome, welcome, be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be welcome. Welcome, be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name. Welcome, 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 be free, be free in Jesus' name.
I'll go all by myself. Let me talk to the other side. I'll go all by myself. Please, Jesus. It's a good day to be in the house of the Lord. The Lord send me. Just send me, Lord. Just send, send me. me. Lord, if they send me, if anybody want the Lord to send them today, hallelujah, why don't you give the Lord a hand clap of praise, hallelujah, good morning St. James, it's a good day to be in the house of the Lord. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'll be glad about it. We're glad about it. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of our pastor in his absence, we greet you with the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming this morning. But I got some good news for you today. <laughs> Jesus showed up before we did. That's good news. You know, I heard, I heard, uh, uh, I was kind of doing some eavesdropping the other day at work. I heard a customer tell us another customer. He was unfairly terminated. You know, unfairness goes around the world. It's all over. I heard him say he was unfairly terminated. You know, I often say a smile doesn't cost you anything. And laughter is good for the soul. So, and I thought it was kind of funny to hear him say, he was unfairly terminated. He said, now this was a zookeeper, and he said, I don't understand what happened. There were signs everywhere that said, don't feed the animals. <laughs> but he was fired. So I thought that was a little funny. You know, unfairness goes everywhere, and I thought, this is funny. It says, for every dollar a man makes, for every dollar a man makes, a woman makes 78 cents. Now you're asking me, how is that unfair? Well, that only leaves the man with 22 cents. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Precious Lord, we come now with bowed head and armor hearts. We come in the most humble manner we know how, simply to give you thanks. Father, I ask you now to lower me down in your storehouse of wisdom. Speak through me. Speak for me. Let your words come out. Father, move James out of the way because he can only mess it up. Father, we thank you today. We glorify you. We lift your name up to the highest heights. Father, we ever forever be in your debt. Father, I thank you today for sending your angel grace and your angel mercy to see about all of us. Thank you, Father, for opening our eyes on this Sunday morning. This we give thanks in Jesus' name. And then all the believers of Christ did say amen. Amen, amen. So I want to lift up uh, the book of Matthews this morning in around about the 20th chapter. And I want to use uh, verse 1 first. And they have it on the screen if you want to uh, read along with me. And for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in a, house, that is in a household, householder which went out early in the morning to hire the laborers into his vineyard. So we're going to travel down to verse 10. Travel down to verse 10. It said, but when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man one penny. And when they had received the... the, the received it, they began to murmur against the good man of the house, saying, these that have brought, these that have wrought only but one hour has made them equal unto us, which they've been out there all day long in the heat. Verse 13. Verse 13. But he answered one of them and said, friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou agree with me for a penny? Hmm. Take that that is thine and go thy way. I will give unto the last even as thee. 
Beloved, I've read to you Matthew 21 and 10 through 14. May that God add a blessing to the hearers and certainly the doers of his holy word. So let me submit to you today that fairness, the fairness standard starts early. Like when you're a child, the fairness standard starts early. Maybe when, when you're young, those standards start real early. Uh, and, and if the truth be told, if I polled the room today, I would think everybody would have some story about being treated unfairly at some point. I look at Mr. J.J. there and over 100 years old. Can you imagine the unfairness that he's seen? So I see my, 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 my brother and my mother here today, so I got to be careful because I'm going to tell you some stories that when I was young, I thought it was unfair. I said, it's not fair. So growing up, my brother would do some things, and I would try to do them. I would get in trouble. And I would say to myself, it's not fair. So the subject today is, it's not fair. It's not fair. You know, my mom, my beautiful mom, let me throw that out there. My beautiful mom would make me eat food that I didn't like. And you know what I said? It's not fair. So that continued on growing up, I realized that the world is not fair. So I got in high school, and I, I was sitting next to some kids, and I see some guys, some boys, some athletes, they were, you know, all of us athletes, and they were cheating on the test only to get passing grades. They getting A's and B's and I'm getting C's. It's not fair. You get it. That's exactly what I said. It's not fair. And beloved, this continued on as an adult, working on a job, training other people, showing them how to do things. They get the promotion. And you know what I said. Y'all done read this story before, ain't you? I get it. I get it. So listen, so this thing continued on. Listen, it even stirred in the church house. Listen, I know I'm not going to call no name, but I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to put it out there. Down in the kitchen, there's a little short guy, he about this tall. He about this wide. You know, they serving food. I look at my wife's plate, it's full of food. Then I look at my plate, I can count the amount of rice in there. And you know what I say? Well, I'm glad y'all on the same team. <laughs> Beloved, and that's how this story starts. You know, I think about fairness. And I think about Brother Joseph in the Bible. Joseph's brothers wanted to kill him. It's not fair. But you know what? God is. Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. It's not fair. But God is. Yeah. Joseph got in trouble with Potiphar's wife. And they punished him for it. But it's not fair. But God is. So let's look at this story today. Let's take a look at this. And so the backdrop is, it's from verse 1 through 16, but I kind of shorten it up in the essence of time. So here it is, this good man. He wakes up early one morning. He goes into the marketplace. He's selecting people to work in his vineyard. He's, I'll take you, I'll take you, I'll take you. Yeah, you can come too. You can come, you can come, you can come. He selects these men, but they make a deal. They strike a deal saying, I'm going to pay you guys for this working all day long one penny. All day long, you're going to work for one penny. Now, they were satisfied with the deal. Yes. They signed off on the deals, Reverend. They signed off on it. They were good with it. Mm -hmm. But later on the day, this good man goes back to the marketplace because realizing, so in the vineyard, the way this happened is, he continued to go back and get other guys because he knows that if this storm come and ruin this vineyard, he's going to lose everything. So he goes back to the marketplace. He picks up another brother. His brother's standing there. He say, listen, why are you standing here? Why are you standing? Come on, go to the vineyard, and I'll make it right. He said, I'll make it right. That's what he said. He said, I'll make it right. And he goes back later on to the day, later on in the day, and picks another brother. 
And he was standing there. This guy standing there. But he only worked one hour out of the 12 hours. He said, now, why you been standing here all day? You was here earlier when I came. You're still standing. Come on, go back to the vineyard. And I'll make it right. Beloved, let me submit to you. That's where the problem starts. Let me read it, what it says. It said, and, and it says, it says uh, they made them equal. But he said, and when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, these last people, that's the last now, wrought but only one hour and has made them equal to us. But well, you ain't worked for one hour, Reverend. Why are you getting the same pay as this man? He's been here 12 hours. That's what they're saying. They say it's not fair. But God sees it differently. Did you know that? God sees it differently. So these men, these men worked all day long trying to make a difference, working in the vineyard. But they're lies a problem. When it comes to money, when it comes to money and finances, we start looking at people a little sideways. As pastor would say, your change is strange, your money is funny, you know, things get hazy and you get crazy. <laughs> so Jesus taught us, in the beginning, the first verse I read, it said that the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in a household of faith. Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come. And this is what this is all about. This is, this is what it's all about. Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come. Do we really know what we're saying when we say that? Thy kingdom come? Fairness is important to us. And we want life to be fair. Unfortunately, we are often disappointed. We must understand that our living in an, we are living in an unperfect world, and sometimes we say that it's even broken. There's many reasons why, but I can suggest to you the number one reason why the world seems to be broken is because of sin. And sin is our rebellion against God's word and his rules in our lives. Our desire, watch this, our desire is to be our own little gods. What do you mean, brother? Okay, so that deal with fairness, we begin to try to handle the fairness situation ourselves instead of giving that situation totally to God. God wants us to depend on him. He didn't want you to work it out for him. He wants to be God all by himself. So the scripture that we are reading points to the fact, watch this, and I heard Reverend Hill say it today in, in Bible school, God, God allows the rain to fall on who? The just and the unjust. So, so what? Okay, so good things happen to what? Bad people. And bad things happen to good people. Here it is. God wants us to love him for who he is, not what he can do for you. Life is far greater than you dealing with a fairness issue. Now imagine Joseph, as I said earlier, being sold into slavery. Just imagine that. There's nothing fair about that. But I said to you earlier, God is. What about... Meshach, Shadrach, and a bad Negro, I mean Abednego, <laughs> being thrown into the fiery furnace. So listen, God wants us to really depend on him and not play like we're depending on him. God wants us to solely depend on him at, at each stage of our lives. So let's deal with this first issue, the first last and the last first. So in many cases, the first can be considered the privilege, as the Jews thought they were, feeling entitled, selfish, prestige, who get ahead in life by walking over the little person. But you know what? God commandments will take care of them. But they're going to receive condemnation in the life to come. What about the last? They were rejected by the world but receive a great reward. This is where I won't need you to focus in on right here. Grasping God's radical generosity. Watch this. I'm going to paint this picture for you. The landowner, the landowner 
pays the workers a starting with those who were hired last and ending with those who were hired first. So listen, so every day when they go to work, at the end of the day, they have to be paid. That's how this works. Okay. So surprisingly, all the workers receive the same payment regardless of the hours they work. And we're still, we're still saying that's not fair, but watch this. This conveys God's overwhelming grace. How so? Demonstrating that salvation and rewards are not based on your efforts or the length of service, but solely on the mercy and love of God. Why don't you give God a hand clap of praise right there? So, in this, you know, this is a parable. This scripture is a parable. And God is teaching us here. So, in this parable, Jesus illustrated what? Jesus illustrated that the kingdom of heaven as a landowner hiring workers for the vineyard. Let me break this down. So, Jesus said he's illustrating the kingdom of heaven as a landowner hiring workers in the vineyard. Okay, I'm going to say this again so we can catch it. The landowner represents God. And the vineyard symbolizes his kingdom. So throughout the day, the landowner hires workers at different stages, reflecting how God calls people into his service at various times of their lives. That's what he's doing. Beloved, can I break this all the way down? We're going to take everything off right now. So God simply wants us, our trust in him, our belief in him, to be greater than the fairness issues that you're trying to deal with. God wants us to solely depend on him. So many issues that have happened throughout the life that each one of us have had, we could have avoided them. You know what? Simply giving it to God. You know, they talked about the time of 29. They said it was hard, right? Only person here that knows about that. Mr. J. Listen, they say the time of 29 was hard, but in 1929, the number one book sold in the world was the Holy Bible. In 1969, God is still number one. In, in 1969, the number one book in the world was the Holy Bible. God is number one. In 2009, in 2024, the number one book sold in the entire world, five billion books, the Holy Bible. God's word has never changed. What happens over time is people change. It's not God's word. So when we dive into God's word, dive into it for understanding. Listen, don't dive into God's word to make a point to somebody else. You're working on your salvation. You can't work on my salvation. You can't help me get in. You can't help me get out. So, listen, and God don't owe anybody anything. God is here because he loves us. He's here today. Did you know he showed up before us? There's a word today for somebody, and that is God loves you. Beloved, I want us to share a prayer, and I'm going to get out of the way. If you would repeat these words with me, it's very powerful, very powerful. So, dear Lord, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your unconditional love and radical generosity. Help us to understand and embrace your grace in our lives. Teach us to appreciate our unique journey and the value of others as you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, continue to pray for me, and I'll pray for you.
thank Brother Monroe for that word. It's Amen. not Amen. fair. Amen. We don't, I don't know if everybody's saved or has a church home. Could you stand with us? We want to offer, we want to open the doors to the church and give, a, give one opportunity, whether they're coming for prayer, whether you're coming to find a new church home, or whether you are just in need of a hug. We want to offer you the opportunity to come. Is there be one? Will there be one that is willing to come? Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to go into our offering. Six ways to give. You can give. It's an envelope out there, uh, and we have in person, cash app, online, text message, or or mail. opportunity to give, Father God. We thank you for putting it on our hearts, Father God, and we thank you for providing for us, Father God. Father God, we pray for increase, not, not only as individuals, God, but for our church, Father God. We just ask that you put it on more hearts, Father God, that you overflood us, Father God, so that we can do your work in this world and in this community, Father God. And all these things in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. If y'all can remain standing, we'll go ahead and close out. Also, there is a Daughters of St. James meeting immediately after service downstairs. And the Sons of Malam meeting upstairs. It's not fair. But God is. Now to him and his able, rest rule and by within his people. Let the Lord say, he continue to bless it. Amen. Amen. Amen.